So I wanted to challenge myself, guys. In this video, I want to only speak in Filipino or in Tagalog the whole way through, and I will try my best. But then, man, siguro ako magsalita in just just little bit of English, just mga mga simpleng simpleng words lang. Oh my God, this is so hard. So guys, gagawin ko na guys. Ito na yung ito na yung document na kailangan yun, okay? Today, guys. Why is it so hard? Oh my goodness. So ngayon guys, let's talk. Ah, oh, pinapahirapan mo lang sarili mo. So ngayon guys, ang ating pag-uusapin or ang aking isi-share sa inyo is yung CFO. Ano ba yung CFO? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Maria here from Just Live Your Thoughts. This is my take two. The first take was obviously a fail. I tried speaking in Tagalog or Filipino, but it was just such a slow video. I tried to look for words. It's just really hard. And I'm not saying that I've been here in Italy for 10 years to not be able to speak in Tagalog fluently, but I'm sorry guys, it is really hard. I guess it's just that me and Marco always speak in English all the time and I am truly, truly sorry. But I tried my best. I, um, there were there were parts that I was able to speak in Tagalog, but then I just, I just couldn't catch the words that I wanted to say and it made the video so slow. So I'm taking this again, take two, but in English this time. So I'm sorry guys. So today guys, I wanted to talk about the CFO document. So you've been hearing me in my previous vlog what the CFO is. So a CFO is one of the important document that you need before you fly out of the Philippines. So yes, this is a document or a requirement only in the Philippines. I don't know in any other countries what your requirement is but the CFO is a requirement from the Philippines. So what is the CFO? So CFO stands for Commission on Filipino Overseas. So I'm not a miss know-it-all that I know everything. I'm just sharing my experience with you guys as to what happened when I applied for the CFO document. So let's start. So what is the CFO guys? So the CFO Commission on Filipino Overseas is actually just a seminar that you need to attend to, seminar and counseling that you need to attend so that you will be able to get the certificate and also a sticker. So why is this important guys? This CFO is a requirement for Filipinos who have a relationship with a foreigner, a husband who is a foreigner, and also a fiance who is a foreigner. And also I think a family member, but I am really, really not so clear about that all I know is just spouse okay but if you attend the CFO uh, seminar I know you guys will be able to understand and learn more about it so I'm just sharing you guys what I know and what I understood from when I went through that situation like I said guys this is a requirement for all of the Filipinos who have a relationship with a foreigner now take note that the immigration officer will not let you pass the day that you're leaving if you do not have the sticker and also the certificate trust me on that one out of all the things i've said trust me on that one so i went to the seminar with a girl who was bound for spain and on the same day that she was about to leave the immigration asked to see the CFO sticker and also the certificate. And she didn't know about it. So the thing is, if you guys don't have it, the immigration officer will tell you that you need to attend the seminar and the counseling so that you will be able to get the certificate and also the sticker. So that goes another wasted ticket just out the window. So she didn't get a refund for it. She had to pay it and that's it. She just had to buy a new ticket. And then so she, you know, she just went to the seminar, got her ticket and flew out of the Philippines. So that's how strict they are with this CFO certificate, guys. That's why it's really, really important that you know about this. What does the CFO certificate look like? The CFO certificate looks like ta -da, ta -da, this. It looks like this, guys. And it has my lovely picture again. Ta -da. So it's just a certificate, guys. So how do you get this certificate? First of all, you need to go to their website. I don't know exactly the website anymore. Like I've been saying in my previous vlogs, I have really, really bad memory. But go to their website and I'm sure you will, you will be able to find out where to go. But yes, first things first, you need to make an appointment with them and you need to print out something to confirm that you have made an appointment with them. Now I can't, 
exactly say what were the requirements you need to bring because on that appointment um, that you need to print out there will be the requirements listed down so from what i remember it's the marriage certificate i think my birth certificate and mm, probably my husband's ids and i think that is it from what i remember so you need to go on that day that you made an appointment and then you just need to attend the seminar so in the seminar they will just explain to you what you can do where to go specifically for your country that you're going to if ever you experience any trouble or if ever you need any help or assistance in any time that you were there it's actually it's a good thing for filipinos that is why you know it's just their job it's their job to be concerned for us guys especially because we will be overseas okay so of course life isn't the same as it is in the philippines so of course they just want you to know that you can always run to someone if ever you need help so after the seminar guys they will interview you okay so they will interview you one by one don't worry about it because they will just ask about your husband they will ask about how you met what is his job and how long you guys have been together if you guys get along and blah 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 so just about your relationship just to make sure that you guys are okay and that everything is being legally done they have experienced cases like illegal processing and I can't say much about it because I don't know if I'm allowed or anything, but that's all I can say. So after that interview, guys, you guys will be brought down or you will need to go down to the first floor. And that's the time that I think they will give you the certificate that I showed you guys. So after the certificate, you will not be able to get the sticker yet without your visa. So what I did is I went to the CFO appointment first to get my certificate. And then I went to apply for my visa. And then I went back to the CFO to get the sticker. Some people, they actually do the visa first and then they do the CFO. Now, the reason why I did the CFO first is because if I have a certificate, I thought that the visa Italian embassy place would give me the visa right away. So I don't know if the, that did any job or you know if it helped any, but that's what I did. So you guys can actually apply for the visa first and then go to the CFO so that you won't go back and forth. But what I did was CFO, visa, CFO. So either ways it works, but the only time that you will be given the CFO sticker is if you have a visa already. So I don't have my passport here to show you guys what the sticker looks like, but I will put it right here. This is just uh, a picture that I found on <laughs> online. So that's what the sticker looks like, guys. That is the importance of a CFO. So don't think that the CFO is not a requirement. Don't think it's just, oh, maybe the immigration officer will let me pass. No, you guys really need it. And it's just for your own good as well. So I think that's it. I think I've covered most about the CFO. This is just a really, really quick video. And if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask me. I'll leave my IG down below. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. So thank you guys for watching. It's been great once again. Thanks for the support and I'll see you guys later.